um, boost pressure regulation range not met on this Audi is due to this diverter valve. It sits in the turbo like this and when it's energized this diaphragm retracts to dump the boost back into the turbo uh, when the throttle is closed. Uh, so this is spring operated like this and because it's a rubber diaphragm over time it tears and when it tears then boost even when this valve is closed uh, boost will get past here and it'll go back into the turbo and it'll set that low boost code and it mounts right up against the turbo on the side three bolts and sometimes these bolts get really rusty as you can see here do whatever you have to to get them out our main focus is on that on the boost pressure values see at 1400 millibars specified it's fairly quickly at that range whereas before it was lagging behind just about to get to an open stretch here I saw specified at 15 and it was at 15 fairly quickly, 13. Yellow and gray graph is what we're looking for. And it's the peaks, we're looking for the peaks to be the same. It's just a short trip here around the block. But you can see the peaks are definitely uh, in the same ballpark. Yeah, that's looking good. I failed to clarify how the boost is getting back into the turbo. I did mention that this plunger, uh, when the plunger retracts like this, boost is vented back into the turbo intake and, and that's how the, uh, the system recirculates boost when the throttle is closed. Um, <clears throat> but when it's not energized, it's supposed to seal off. So how does the boost still get past? Uh, I did mention that the diaphragm tears <clears throat> But that still doesn't explain how, how it gets back into the turbo if this is sealed. Well, if you look closely, there are tiny holes in here. There's four holes. And when you look through, you can actually look through them. So basically what happens... <clears throat> come on. So th the upper part is sealed to the turbo. And then this lower half contains boost. So the boost travels through the cracks it goes up the skirt so to speak up the diaphragm and you can see the holes oops come on so there's the tiny holes on the side there's one big one right there so one two three four <clears throat> So the boost that's in here goes down through the uh, cracked diaphragm, comes up the middle of this um, plunger, and even though this is sealed to the uh, turbo and not energized, again when it's energized it's in the down position, so when it's not energized like this, uh, boost can still leak through it, and that's why you can get the uh, P0299 code. Okay. Hope that clarifies things.